it's more than just free speech. It's thought control. Yeah. Because like Orwell told us in 1984, the idea behind politically correct speech, the idea behind limiting speech isn't to keep people from talking. It's to keep them from thinking, to keep them from even considering the ideas and issues that they don't want raised. And there's a lot of examples out there. Yeah, oh, completely. You, for instance, the word uh, anchor babies. This uh, <laughs> this has been, we've been told over and over again, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, everyone else, what's well, an offensive term? It's not an offensive term. I mean, people who aren't don't have anything else here to anchor them, like legal status for citizenship, <laughs> are using a baby as their anchor. And what, what was it, what was it suggested I think to Trump, what, what you have to use the American citizen infant of an undocumented whatever. It was the longest phrase in the world. What would you use? I mean, anchor baby, they're not, you write, they're not just babies. Well, look, anchor baby is a beautiful term. It's evocative. It's descriptive. It's good writing. It tells you what it is. And people don't like that. You know, I love it when people tell me something is offensive, so I should not say it. Well, I don't care if it's offensive. That's not even on my radar. Ideas are supposed to be offensive. Ideas are supposed to be challenging. And I, like millions of other Americans, challenge the idea uh, that it's morally right for foreigners to come here illegally and have babies who become American citizens. I don't like it. It's wrong, and I'm going to say so.